Gah, gah, gah. You got any raps? You got any bars? I need some beat to freestyle. You need a beat? I don't need no beat. So let me hear something. Gang, gang, gang. Dang, I forgot my yeah. lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't about to freestyle. There's not a freestyle. Nah, I had something in my mind before we started. That shit was about to be heat. But you like, knew I, what you was about to do. No. You cheating. That's what they You could have let me know. Fact. No, 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 no. Because you know why? Because you know the people that be going on Funk Flex, they be, they be having written things already. And they be looking at their phone and rapping. That's cheat. This is supposed to be freestyling. People don't freestyle for real no more. They write it down. They technically count that as freestyle when they just write it down. It's not a freestyle. But you don't got none right now? What you want me to rap about? Rap about your life. How's your life going right now? <coughs> yeah, we got to stop this too cringy. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the No Regs Podcast, episode number 25. And, you know, I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got another one of my hosts, Jay, with me. You know what I'm saying? You're... We're at episode number 25. That's a quarter way to 100 episodes. That's crazy. We the realest. <laughs> we the realest. Ain't no way. I thought I would have been stopped. I thought I would have been got tired of this. I thought I'd been, like, too lazy, but nah, bro. We still going strong. 25 episodes in, 63,000 sub- no, subscribers. 63,000 followers on TikTok. Shout out to all of my TikTok followers. And if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars.podcast. You got a problem? You want to say the intro? <laughs> no, but you say every single at. <laughs> because I want to. Absolutely. So they know. And then at the end, I'll be like, follow the socials because I'll be stuttering. <laughs> but follow us on YouTube. See, now you messed me up. Messed up my flow. My bad, my bad. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at No Regrets Podcast on Google, uh, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. And if you haven't already, write a review down in, what was it, Apple Podcasts? If you want to, you know what I'm saying? You know, it helps us out. Helps us get in the algorithm a lot more. And it helps it reach more people that way. And it would be greatly appreciated. Because I looked at it, I think there's only like, oh, even, you don't even have to give us a review. You can just give us a rating, you know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. I think... I think we only got nine ratings. The tenth rating gets a free shirt. <laughs> gets cash app ten dollars. Put yeah, your cash, cash app, app in the comments. Facts, facts, facts. Push your cash. No, put your cash app in the review. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're the tenth one to rate it, I'll give you ten dollars. Jay will give you ten dollars. Nah, but if, anyways, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. What are we? We almost had seven hundred subscribers. Mm-hmm. That's tough. We almost had one k. Yo. People, once we hit 100,000 followers on TikTok and 1K subscribers on YouTube, I'm letting y'all know now. I'm saying this now on on film that we'll be dropping merch. Yes, oh, sir. shoot. Yes, sir. Ah. Yeah, you surprised because you didn't even know he's doing that shit. Yes, sir. We're going to be dropping merch soon. Nah, not soon. Cap. I cap like shit. <laughs> Eventually, we'll be dropping merch. But, hey, get us 100K and get us 1K and it might be sooner than later. And, you know, like I'm saying, DM us, comment down below in the comment section, and like, post notifications, all that, you know what I'm saying? Because we got a good episode coming today. But first, I want to start off with this, bro. NBA, bro, what y'all doing, man? The dunk contest, we watched the dunk contest, what was that, two it years ago? Trash. That shit was ass. I'm not going to lie. That was the, that's one of the worst ones I've seen. This year and last year, that junk was like mid. It was very mid. They keep going down, 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 down. Shout out to Obi Toppin though. You know my New York Knicks man. New he e. was booty too. He did. He was decent. He was the one that went behind the back over the dude. That was pretty good. He did like one good dunk. Cause everybody else was doing so mid that whatever dunk he did just looked great. Exactly, but that was just so stupid. It was people so... used to jump over cars like they used to do some. I know, good bro. Stuff. Cause came in with Tim's. That was okay. Honestly, he's cringy. I'm not gonna lie. The way he started, he tried to get, he tried to hit the, get sturdy, or whatever. That was so cringe. I don't know what he was doing. The Tims, I'm thinking he going between the legs. He going to jump over his father. He just did a windmill. But granted, I can't do none of those things, people. I can't, I can't physically, I could dunk, but you know, I can't physically like do no crazy. Don't look at me. <laughs> you know, I, I could, I dunked a couple times in my life. But yeah, that was, that was so mid. Like he tried to get the crowd up. That, that brought me down, bro. And that was so bad for freaking, real. They was taking forever. It took them 10 minutes to put the, the boots on. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You should have had the boots already. They get too many tries. First try, no, not not first try. Second try, you're done. That's it. That's what I'm saying. And like they wasn't counting the tries because they were they was losing the ball out their hands. That's how that's how that's how mid it was. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you know what they should do? 
we should vote for whoever goes into the dunk contest, right? But if the people don't want to be in it, then obviously they don't be in it. But mm -hmm. we should vote who to be in it. And, like, on the side, like, not what for us to see, but, like, judges, they should, like, do, like, a like like a trial run to see what dunk shot going to do. Not like even. Of, like, not, like, the of the of with the judges in it, but just, like, whoever runs the whole thing. Because if they would have showed, like, them dunks they was doing was so mid. Like, bring me back to 2016, but that was the best dunk contest I've ever seen in my life. I don't remember what year it was. I just know when I used to watch it, they used to be doing some extraordinary stuff. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's so bad. Like, maybe it's because, you know, Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine, like, set the standard mad high. Because Aaron Gordon literally jumped over somebody with his full body on a on the little um hover hoverboards. Like, he jumped over him. That I have never seen that before. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But, oh, like, maybe that, that he set the standard too high. But still, bro, y'all can't think of it, like... I might might as well put the pro dunkers and just let them go. Exactly, like that's that's so boring. Nobody's gonna want to watch it anymore. This was it was so it was so bad. I'm looking at I'm like yo, y'all can't get one dunk. They doing they missing the simple stuff. I mean, not simple to me, but like simple to simple, them. Y'all in the dunk contest. I need something good. Mm -hmm. They doing just freaking like windmills. I'm not if you in the dunk contest, bro, in 2022 and up, what, don't do no windmill unless you go and do a backflip. He jumped over somebody. I forgot who it was. Jumped over somebody, but pushed off. Oh yeah, yeah. If you yeah, can't yeah. jump over somebody for real, don't do it. I knew this year's dunk contest was gonna be mid. I just seen. I seen the cast. I was like, "There's no hope." It's still like the the most exciting part was the freaking the three point contest. Mm -hmm. Shout out Cap, bro, from Jersey, man. He had to bring that shit home for yes, us. Sir. You know what I'm saying, gangsters, gangsters. That was the most exciting thing. I was hyped. He <laughs> almost hit thirty. No. <laughs> Who'd you get hyped for in the dunk contest that missed? Oh, oh, oh. it was Jalen Green. <laughs> Yo, he was, mi bruh, I thought he could do way more, bruh. He was really just out there freaking, um, he was just missing. And he kept doing the same dunk. Yeah, but he was trying to do something hard at least. I think, what was it? It was like between the legs off like the side of the backboard, which is not that. I mean, I've seen him, I think I've seen him do it before. He probably nervous. I guess. But I'm like, if... If you do it, like, say, you do the dunk, like, three times, and you still miss, you got to do something else. Yeah. He kept trying. Like, he did, like, he was going for a good, like, five minutes. I'm like, nah, bro. At that time, just the time limit. I think they need to bring the time limit back. I ain't going to lie. They had a time limit before? Yeah, like, I think it was, like, early 2000s. They had, like, you have two minutes to, like, make a dunk. Oh. No, there's not, like, chances. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think two minutes is fine for each person. Hey, man. NBA, you got to do better, bro, because I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I w I'm tired of seeing this. The All Star Game was pretty good though. I heard. I didn't even watch it. I know we was we was doing we was sipping painting, bro. <laughs> we was sipping and sipping uh cranberry juice and painting with our parents instead of watching. Steph Curry had fifty that day. He did. He had fifty that night. We could have had it in the background. We had the the oh, video yeah, playing. God damn it! You could have had it on your phone. You know how many threes he made? How many? He made fifteen. That's tough. And LeBron made the game winning shot and hugged Steph Curry right afterwards. The kids from Ohio, the Ohio kids, and Steph Curry. I think he won MVP. And, hey. I'm, and the dunks they was doing in there, it looked better than the dunk contest. John Morant did like a three sixty alley oop. I'm like, oh shit. Should have the freaking veterans in there. It's because I think they try they, to give the rookies a chance. Yeah, because like they be asking like people to do it, but I don't think they want to. No. Oh. Like uh, Zach Levine and them, they be like, they too old to do all that stuff. Like I'm not gonna lie, the dunk contest is for like uh, either rookies or like first year players, because hmm. you know it's like. That's like the kid thing to do. Like they get hyped and shit like that. I guess that I makes know. it booty. At this mo, at this time, you need to put like, like pro dunkers or have them like yeah, bring the pro dunkers in. Mm -hmm. Like the the five seven dudes that be jumping over people that be dunking behind their back. Get them in there at this <laughs> point, bro. I'm tired of seeing the NBA players. But I did the intro already, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me start off the show with the question to ask you, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a scenario, right? So. You have to pick two of these people, two of these things to protect you against the rest of them. Okay. Okay. So one of them, it's 50 hawks, like animals, the, mm -hmm, the animals, yeah. 50 of them, 10 crocodiles, three grizzly bears, a man with a shotgun, like the two barrel shotgun, 15 wolves, five gorillas, four lions, and 10,000 rats. Who are you picking to protect you? That was a lot. That was. I forgot half of them. Oh, pro 
probably it's either for me it's between the fifteen wolves or the lions. Oh, you could pick two. Oh, it's two. Yeah, so you just gonna pick them two. Yeah. Fifteen wolves and the lions. I'm not gonna lie. I need those ten thousand rats. Why? That's a lot of rats. Just imagine that ten thousand. What was the scenario? Like, they have to protect you. Two. You have to pick two to protect you, and the rest are coming to kill you. Ten thousand rats can hold me down. That's a lot. No. You know, Lions watch, and gorillas will go run through them rats like nothing. Nah, but look, think about it. you never watched Ratatouille. Remember Ratatouille when all the rats just scurried out? Yeah. Just but imagine all that, all them ten thousand. That wasn't even ten thousand. That's probably like a hundred. You think them big animals are scared of those little rats? They don't gotta be scared. The rats is attacking them. So imagine ten thousand just climbing onto all of and them. And those things are trying to get you. But don't worry, I got another choice. I don't know what. That's I'm not sure you do. So I don't know. I was either gonna pick the hawks because they have aerial assault, but that's mid because like. They can't protect me still. Yeah. I'm thinking of picking the grizzly bears. But like the man with the gun, it's a shotgun though. Because like it's a two barrel, so they're going to have to reload. So he got two shots. The man with the gun is pointless. He's done up. The man with a gun is not protecting you from those animals. I Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a shotgun, like a two barrel, when he has to keep reloading, then I think I'm good. Like sending, sending the grizzly bears. But I was thinking about the wolves too. Because 15 wolves, that's a lot. 15 wolves but and like, four lions is protecting me. Grizz- nah, I'm thinking crocodiles is deed. Them things can't do nothing out of water. Yeah, no, it's done no. up. Uh, f- five gorillas. Five gorillas. Opposable thumbs. They be throwing. But Oh, gorillas? But Corey said gorillas don't really punch like we think they do. They think they, they just bite. Yeah, this ain't mother effing King Kong. I think I'm going to do three grizzly bears and 10,000 rats. That's fire. Three, you know how big grizzly bears are? Them junks is huge. My lions will destroy your grizzly bears. No, they're bears. not. Yes, they would. Your lions? Yes. No, they're and not. And my wolves. Nah, first of all, your wolves is done up. No, they're not. Are you crazy? Bro, nah. 15. You got to search up, can a lion beat a bear? You don't think a lion can beat a bear? I think a lion can beat a bear. That's what I'm saying. My lions will destroy your bears. No. A bear would definitely kill a lion. No. How is a bear going to kill a lion? A, Do you know how a big lion a bear would is? literally just bite it. Do you know go, how big ah. a bear is? Them grizzly bears could be like 10 feet tall. And they do, they got some thick ass skin. And you see the paws in that thing? Just shink. It can stand up and box. Lions can't stand up. Box? They're not going to box. I know, but it can stand up and go like this. What's that going to do to a lion? A lion Scratch is his fast. So? We fighting. It's not about race. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my lines will. Your line is dud up. No, they not. If, you, if I have three, gri- them, first of all, after the grizzly bears, the ten thousand rats is gonna hold me down. No, they're not. Why are you hating? Look, think <laughs> of, you know how much ten thousand is. Ten thousand is a lot. Exactly. But do you think a lion is gonna care about them rats in the way? They don't need to care. This, yes, they do. They're look, just gonna t- run through them rats. No, they're not. Ten thousand. Okay, think about this now. All of these things are gonna attack you. So you rather you think the lions are gonna save you from ten thousand rats? Yes. What? I mean, obviously they're you know some of them are gonna go through, but if I pick ten thousand rats to protect me, they're not gonna protect me. Yes, they are. I'm telling rats, you. Rats, all all rats do. Rats don't even do nothing. I know, but like there's I, just a lot of them. So and, ex- if a lion gets past your the rats, you're done up. You never seen the rats like eat stuff? Like they just eat stuff like piranhas. No. And they're gonna be climbing on top of your lions. I'm telling you, my lions. You got you got five lions. Wait, how I many? Four lions. Four lions mm-hmm. and fifteen wolves. And fifteen wolves. Wolves are low key big as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. They're like six feet tall. They're big. But still, low key, I might pick the fifteen wolves instead of the grizzly bears. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change my answer. I'm gonna do ten thousand rats and fifteen wolves. Fifteen wolves. But and grizzly rats. bears. First of all, they have to they have to take out that guy with the gun. They have to the take guy out, with the gun is gonna be easy. I know, but like, what if he just run up and sneak me? He just got the smarts. So I, he needs to die first. Yeah, your rats are going to protect you with, from a guy. Yeah. My, because if he shoots two shotgun shells, he's probably going to kill like like 20 rats with the shotgun bullets. I got another 9,000 more coming right at him. I'm trying to tell you. these. They're, rats, but they're on the floor. Like rats don't do nothing, just crawl. I know, but they could crawl up things. Like they're going to crawl on top of them them lions and just start the biting them, just annoying them. It gives me time to escape. No. I'm trying to tell you, you sleep on the rats, man. All right, we're going to see in the comments. Hey, people in the comments, who would you... It's a lot, but 10,000 rats, people. Come on, just put that down. Nah. Come on. 10,000? That's a lot. It is a lot. 
but there's just going to be 10,000 rats scattered around you. My lions will just step on all your rats. Nah. I and my wolves. I forgot I had the 15 wolves. They're not going to step on them because they're going to evade the steps. No. Gonna be like, <laughs> Here you go. You start, think they're doing the Matrix. They're not Matrix, but they're not stupid. They're not just going to see a foot and just stand there. They're going to be like, Shit. All of them are going to be able to move and go like that at the same time while they're 10,000 are stuck together like that. Do you that? know how much 10,000 is? That's a lot of rats. Rats don't do nothing to protect you, though. But like, in this moment, they're going to, they're going to, they will hold no, it down. No. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you, girl. But speaking of animals, though, do you think, I was thinking about this the other day. Do you think that there's some animals in the world that's like, like, because you know how back then in like, in like the Cretaceous, whatever periods there were, the BC times, the, the olden day, the olden days. Remember there used to be like big animals, like all the animals used to be like way bigger. Do you know about that? Mm-mm. You know, there was like a, there was like a, um, there was like a wombat in Australia that was like six feet tall. A wombat is like a big, like guinea pig. And it was like a six foot tall like wombat. And in um, in uh South America, there used to be like a, a giant sloth that was like twenty feet tall. A sloth. Yeah. So back then, the animals used to be way bigger, and like everything used to just be bigger back then because like more oxygen, everything grows bigger. Mm-hmm. But like, do you think nowadays there are like animals that could get to that big, like be that big? Like you know how they say like megalodon is a thing, like giant sharks. Yeah. Do you think that's possible? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think, because, like, you know, there was, like, a, they, in the Philippines, they caught a 30-foot 30, 30 crocodile? Yes. Like, there's a, there was a video of it. I remember I watched a documentary when I was a kid. It was a 30-foot, like, that shit was big as hell. And, like, they, like, like they it was, like, swimming in the swamp, and it was killing people. And somebody actually caught it. How they catch a 30-foot crocodile? I have no idea. I don't tell me. That. I Like, look, there's a video up on YouTube, and it's, like, tied up. And, like, they put it on, like, a little wagon, and it started wiggling. It started breaking out. Everybody just started running. <laughs> like, it was big as hell. Like, it was, like, a like the head was, like, almost as big as, like, a little bigger than this table. The head? Yeah, the head was bigger than this table. Like, 30 feet is bigger than, they can't fit in this room. Yeah, nah. And, like, that's, like, that's huge. Like, I feel like, I feel like some animals in this world, like, not every animal, but, like, there'll be, like, one, one in a generation animal that'd be huge. Yeah, I think so with that, but like not like a lot of them. Yeah, there'll probably be like one, like, cause like with megalodon, right? I seen there was like a, you know how they like Google Maps have like images and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So there was like a there was one for like, I forgot what they was doing. They was looking at the coast and you see like a big like, that you see um a shadow in the water. And it was like a shark. It looked like it was a shark, but it, like it looked like a shark, but like it was the size of like a school bus. I think animals under sea could grow that big oh, a yeah. lot of them mm-hmm. consecutively but up here nah i think maybe they was talking about in um in china there was like a giant spider that's like six feet and spider yeah there was like no. a video of it It was like maybe not six feet but it was like it was like this big <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'd be scared as hell like imagine we lived in a world like that Mm-mm. like with, with the animals are mad big and we're like small oh hell no they controlling us i should That'd be tough though. Imagine Juju was like six feet tall. <laughs> oh, I would bing over him. <laughs> if y'all don't know, Juju's like a little dog, a little don't know what the hell he is, but he's a little nut. He's a German Spitz. Spitz. Yeah. But like, um, what was I saying? Yeah, and like, I, I think there would be more in the water too, right? Because um, you know, you know how there's glaciers in the water and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you think there's like frozen animals in there, and like, because of global warming, they like thaw out. I think, I think so, yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know if it's possible, but it sounds like it is. Cause like you seen you seen that little picture of an iceberg, like it looks like a little thing, but on the bottom is like like huge. Mm-mm. It's like so like some icebergs like on the top it looks like small, but like when you look on the bottom it's really just like it's big as hell. Like it goes all the way down, down type shit. Like probably, I feel like animals get frozen every day. It'd be cold as hell. Oh, like just naturally freeze? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like in Alaska, I feel like if a if like a little um if a squirrel walk out on the in the wrong day, he just freeze. I seen a frozen cat before. Like where? he was just he was just like this. I forgot where it was. I don't know if it was on the internet or if I actually seen it. <laughs> but he was dead just like And he didn't move. It was it was mad cold outside. I think I think it was a picture. Like he just got stuck. And freaking um and you know, you know animals don't really hibernate? 
I just found this out the other day. Like, like, what do you think hibernation is? I don't know. I thought they go into like a little freaking hole or something and just stay there until and sleep, right? Yeah. Nah, they don't do that. Well, not sleep. Obviously, I feel like they can't. Animals can't sleep. Oh, I I used to think they the sleep. whole time. Oh, you didn't think that? I used to think that. Like, I think what they do is it's like they just slow their metabolism down and they just like move mad slow. But where do they stay? Like, like they still live on the ground, but it's like they still come up. I thought they know they don't leave that cave the whole time until like spring. Where do mosquitoes go? I was just about to talk about that. <laughs> you just reminded me, people. That's a fact. Where do mosquitoes go? Maybe they fly to the hot weather, or weather, or they just die. I don't think I don't think mosquitoes could fly that far. Maybe they just die. Okay, so they they die, but how do they come back? They're, they grow again. <laughs> like, do you ever, like, like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe they lay eggs in the winter time, and, like, they hatch in the spring, but, like, how do the eggs, the eggs don't die? Wait. I just figured it out. What? The government made mosquitoes. Here you go. <laughs> maybe, the, how do mosquitoes, like, grow? I don't know. I think they come from, like, oh, I don't know. I think they come from like little larvae, like the little wormy things, and then they just grow into like mosquitoes. So maybe they just die off, and then when the warm weather comes, like more mosquitoes come. But like imagine, so say we're here right now, right? Okay, you know what? They probably come from, uh, I don't I don't know. Because like say we're in New Jersey, right, and it mm-hmm. gets really cold. Every mosquito, there, there might be a couple, but like most of them are going to die because mm-hmm. it's cold, like freezes over, or damn near every, all of them are going to die. Yeah. So, like, how do they reproduce in the springtime? Because, like, there's no point of a mosquito, to be honest. There isn't. All they do is just literally just bug us and bite us. Random thought, random thought. What if mosquitoes were put out by the government to, like, take our DNA? That's why they pr- That's why they take our blood. And they bring it back. That's smart, but there's too many mosquitoes for that. I feel like they'll, they'll be like birds. Mm, like pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I there's seen, a lot of mosquitoes. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's really no purpose for them shits in life. At all. Like, what is a mosquito here for? Just to bug me? Just to bite me? Like, like and, that's my, the worst animal to ever be created. I think that I think they're, like, one of the worst, like, most dangerous, like, bites. Because, oh. because, or, like, I think, I don't know if it's bites or most dangerous animals, because, like, they literally can't, you can't stop them, and, like, they, you can't see them sometimes, and they have, some of them have, like, a lot of diseases that could kill you. Really? Like in in uh, some countries and like Africa, if you go there, like you have to get like a tetanus shot because like some mosquitoes carry like malaria and shit like that. And like we need that. What? Tetanus shot. Shit. I don't know. We need hella shots because who knows, man? The apocalypse might come. Fucking shit. That's. I, oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk about COVID and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I was man. about to. I, I was about, about to say shit. something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. We I was can't gonna talk say about you guys Spotify are gonna kill me. You guys are going to turn into zombies. Hey, but speaking of zombies, though, do you, I, I seen it the other day. They said the zombie apocalypse might come like sooner than we think. I hope not. Because like, I remember those, like, you know, the CDC, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't know what the CDC was before coronavirus, but like supposedly like, t- I thought they just, I, th- I thought the CDC was made when Corona came out. <laughs> I didn't know what the CDC was either. Like, I was like, it's been here for a while. So I guess like a couple years ago, they gave out, they, they um came up with like a zombie survival kit. Like, just randomly, just like, here, this is how you survive a zombie apocalypse. And what's in that zombie survival kit? Just like, what to do, like, if, if a said zombie apocalypse happens, said outbreak happens, what you should do. Who the hell is calling me? It's you, Jay. Oh, boy. Should I answer this? Yeah. All right. Yo. I'm on a podcast, bro. You want to say what's good? Who are you doing a podcast with? Jay. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Oh shit. JK, fuck out of here. UJK right here, look. UJK. She put UJK on the mic. On the, I didn't on the put napkin. that. What? I didn't even do that. I didn't put that. Oh, it's probably Tyrone. Oh, you know, you know, they got put UJK, though. You know, niggas hate on me. But you know what I'm saying? Call me, call me after the, uh, the podcast. All right. I got you. Good niggas here. They can hear me. Yeah. Uh. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of zombies, right? That nigga's a zombie. But yeah, 
so like they came out with the whole survival kit on how to like survive a zombie apocalypse if that said ever happened. Like why would they just do that? Cause it's coming. Hey. And I ain't gonna survive it. You know, and um supposedly a couple I think it was like a month or two ago, there was a CDC truck going to Pennsylvania filled with like monkeys and it crashed and the monkeys got loose and like the people was hunting down the monkeys and just shooting them. It's like, wait, why are you just some they they captured some monkeys and some of them they had to kill them. And like a lady seen a monkey in a box and they she opened it and like the monkey was just looking at her and just like it like hissed at her a little bit. And then she said like the next day she felt like mad sick and had like weird symptoms and like they didn't know what happened. And the the C D C was just like, Oh, if you see if you see a monkey, just don't go by it, don't go near it. Just just let the people do handle their jobs. And the the people were actually like killing the monkeys. But like That's weird. But why were they killing the monkeys if you could just like grab them and just put them back in the box? And why were they bringing a box of monkeys to Pennsylvania? What's well, in Pennsylvania? I think it's like uh the the um the health center, like the CDC health center. What were they doing? Like what what did those monkeys have and they were testing it on? I know they had to be testing something. Hey, I don't know, man. I ain't ready for a zombie apocalypse. I ain't ready either. And I'm I ain't preparing. I'm I ain't just going. That. I shit. I ain't reading that zombie survival kit. But and it's like, what if like. All right, Spotify. I'm not saying COVID isn't real. It's a real thing. Well, obviously, I had it twice. <laughs> I think once. But like, what if COVID is like a, like a, like a pregame to the big <laughs> apocalypse? <laughs> and like, I mean, it keeps getting stronger and stronger. Like they're trying to see how we're we adapt to it, like how how we how we um act during like this whole time of like shutdowns. Government shutdowns, can't leave the house, masks everywhere, mandate all this stuff. And, like, they just going to drop the big one. Like, oh, here we go. Zombies. Zom- zombies. Now survive. I don't know. I hope not. I really hope. Like, give. let me at least have kids, have a family. Like, then you could put it on me. Hey, just know, we going, we going to Colorado. You in Colorado. What? There's still going to be zombies in Colorado. I know, but, like, I heard... They said Colorado. I don't know if it's like Colorado, but low key, cause like, you know, the most fit people are in Colorado. What that got to do with zombies? That's what I'm saying. But like, you can <laughs> run, you can run away from zombies. They got hella military bases. I think the bunkers in Colorado, the Doomsday Bunker. Oh. Uh, and plus, like Doomsday bun- Bunkers in Colorado, they got hella. I heard supposedly like, you know the you know the thing that be going around about the Denver airport. Mm. So the Denver airport. Oh yeah, yeah. You told me. I think. About the what? The underground? Yeah. So, like, the Denver airport is, like, the, the biggest uh, airport in the country, right? Mm-hmm. But, supposedly, they spent, like, way more money over budget. So, like, they don't know what, why or what that money went to. And they say that there's, like, underground, like, buildings underneath the underneath the um, airport. And they ain't letting us in there. Nah. I'm, that, they said it's supposedly for, like, all the elites, like all the special people, like the higher up people. That's like I up. heard, I heard something happen. I forgot what it was. Fuck, I forgot. There was like a, a big crisis happen. Either, freaking like a terrorist attack or some shit happened, and Obama or like a big decision happened in like another country, and Obama so was supposedly like ironically was in Denver at the time when Obama was president. So they're saying like that's where all the big meetings happen in the bottom of like the Denver Air- Denver airport. And then if you go around the Denver airport, you see, like, a bunch of, like, paintings of, like, the apocalypse. Like, there's, like, a big mural of, like, of, like, it's, like, uh, soldiers, dead babies, dead kids, dead turtles, like, That's dead wild. Up. It's, like, why would, like, they say it's art, but, like, who the fuck, like, what is that supposed to represent? Right. And, like, they say um, down in the in the basement, like, somebody went down there and was videotaping. And you just see, like, a big, it looked like a big bunker. And supposedly there's like tunnels that um, connect either all the airports in the United States and some of them connect to like other countries and shit like that. And like there's trains in that bitch that go that's like. That's messed up. What us what us broke people supposed to do? That's- Fight for our <laughs> life? <laughs> hey, bro, that's what they trying to see. They trying to they trying to separate the weak from the 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 um the strong. The they weak. Survive. They're weak. They are. That's why they're gonna try to lead us. Like, the strongest people that survive zombie apocalypse, oh, that's who I want to lead. Fuck y'all niggas. But, like, they got, like, they have underground tunnels, and, like, there's trains 
that like the technology down there supposedly is like way better than we have. Like they have trains that go up to like mock speeds of like airplanes and shit. That's dangerous. Hey, they they figured it out. And supposedly aliens are down there. I don't know. Freaking humans working with them. If we have a zombie apocalypse, I hope it's just like the Walking Dead zombies. Just not. They don't run. I know. If they run, I'm giving up. I'm surrendering. I don't want. I don't want the zombies from Army of the Dead either. Cause them zombies. You you remember we watched mm-hmm. that movie and they was weaving. Yeah. It's over for us. Nah, I just just nuke it. If they're not like Walking Dead zombies, I'm surrendering. I'm gonna get bit. Cause I don't what? care. At nah, that point. you can't get bit. Nah, I don't care. We gonna care survive. At that point. Hell no. We got this. I ain't surviving unless they like the Walking Dead zombies. We could survive better than Tyrone and you, Jay. We can. They have a plan that's not even gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> when you're prepared for things, they never work. Mm. Jay show Jay throwing shots at y'all. <laughs> pow, pow, damn, you killed, you killed all they dreams. They was ready for this shit. They still, they still will argue with me that it's gonna work, but it's not. You know they, you know how they be. Yeah, but and they're not gonna lose, so <laughs> I don't even want to have that argument with them. Hey, hey, but but yeah. So if we go and the zombie apocalypse happen, people don't go to Denver. Only we can go to Denver because we the <laughs> we the elites. This podcast is going to bring me up to elite status. Yes, sir. You know I say it. You know I say it. Hell yeah. You know. <laughs> but yeah, so supposedly there's underground bunkers. No, underground tunnels. There's the definitely world. bunkers too. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. Because if like, there's important people around the world. Hell yeah. Around the whole world. So it's like, they probably have bunkers in different areas so people mm-hmm. can get there fast. Hell yeah. Like, remember that movie, uh, Greenland? Mm-hmm. And they had like a doomsday. Bu- that movie scared the hell out of me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I was so scared on the drive back, but hey, I feel like, I feel like now, I feel like, remember how they said back then that we'll have like flying cars at this point in life, like mm-hmm. 2022. I don't think we have, like, I feel like we made it to that technology, but they don't, they just don't want to show us. They don't want to, yeah. Like, I feel like, like everything that we expect, like shit, like the Jetsons, they already have, but it's like not for us. And they're going to give it to us later in life to be like, oh, look, we just made this invention. Like, nah, y'all made that shit like 50 years ago. Y'all was just trying to hide it from us. I think that's what they do for everything now. Oh, yeah, because like if they go and make it early, it's like, nah, 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 we're going to use it. Like, we're gonna, the government's going to be like, nah, nah, nah I want to use it first. Like, use it to its full potential just in case it gets to the wrong hands. Mm-hmm. So, like, if anything happens, we know how to fix it. And then we give it to the public. Mm-hmm. Like, freaking, Ish was talking about Mark Zuckerberg. You know, they're making the little metaverse thing. You know, you ever heard of that? Like it's just talking about it. it's like, like you know the little the little headset things. Yeah. So suppose you could go in there and go into like a whole new world where like you could be anybody you want, be anywhere you want. What the hell? Shit, I don't know. Like they got a lot of good inventions. Like I seen freaking on on YouTube. I was watching the other day. They have a um they have a portable house. Oh yeah, I think you told me about that. That should look tough. Like it, it was does. only like like fifty thousand dollars, and it's like. It's like a um a box and like they'll make they'll build it for you and if you want to pack up and leave they'll do it for you again and then you can just put it in the back of your car and drive off like it comes with a, a living room a bed a TV that's like that thing I saw on Instagram what they were selling like a portable house at um it was like at Walmart or something but it was for like twenty five hundred dollars it was some I don't know if it's really out I don't know if it was Instagram <laughs> just lying or <laughs> it should probably like a shed yeah it looked like a shed yeah it's probably a shed or like a dog house. Nah, it wasn't a dog house. <laughs> <laughs> but like that'd be tough. Like they was really like folding it, and like they they'll put like the beds and stuff. The beds already come with the TVs come with it. And it's only like fifty thousand. You got plumbing. You got uh plumbing, indoor showers, indoor toilets. You got everything you need to live in I there. I would do that. I would do it for fifty k. Mhm. But like we low key claustrophobic. But like I'm be electricity. Bumped. I think they have that, like plugins. You gotta find a place to like. Oh, that is a good question. They probably provide that for you somehow. Solar panels. You know Elon Musk, he's an alien, bro. <laughs> he dead is. He's an alien, bro. I don't know. But um, all right, I got another question for you, right? So say you get fifty thousand dollars for every bone you break right now. I'll give you fifty thousand dollars for every bone you break. How many bones are you breaking? I'm breaking all my fingers. Okay, that's ten. I'm breaking all my toes. All your toes? You can't save a couple, you know. What toe do I need to walk for real? My big toe? Yeah. Honestly, if you break all of them, I don't think you're gonna walk in general. I'm good on a wheelchair. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm counting how much you got so far. So all right, not on my toes. That's max. I kind of want to walk. So you have ten limbs right now. So my fingers. So that's ten. I'll break. I'll break the long toe that I have. 
my two long toes. That's eleven. That's twelve. Twelve. I'll break. I'll break an ankle. You're gonna break an ankle? Yeah. <sighs> I could come back from an ankle recovery from an ankle injury. <laughs> People break their ankles all the time. I guess. I just. So what's that? Thirteen. I think that's good. I think I'm good. Else? All right. Let me see. Let me see. How much is that? So fifty thousand times thirteen. Sixty five six hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's how much you get. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. I think I think I'm just gonna break all my fingers. Just get a quick uh half a million. But breaking doesn't mean like it can't go back. Yeah, oh you mean like like it's like little breaks, not like breaking off. Like yeah. Like yeah. you mean like it's off my hand? Nah, 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 it's broken. Yeah, so it's broken, I'll pop it back in. Yeah. Or you could like you know how there's some breaks it's not like it's just like a little crack in you. Mm-hmm. It's like a fracture like yeah. that. So I could do all my toes too. I guess. And I recover from that. I know, but like that gonna hurt. It is, but that money gonna feel good. Yeah. When I'm all recovered. I heard that. I heard that. But then my medical bills. You don't got health insurance? I do, but you know I don't know how that should work to be me honest. Me either. I think you gotta pay pay back. I heard I heard some people can't even get health insurance. I know. Like I heard I heard um like I was watching this shit for class. It's so random. I was watching like this documentary about health insurance and how fucked up it is, and like people that ha- don't have health insurance. So like the, a guy like cut off half of his finger from like he was like a he he does like tools and he cut off half his finger. He went to the doctor and they put his finger back on for him and it was like they bu- he didn't have um health insurance and they billed him like thirty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. I mean yeah, when you go to the hospital, you're gonna have to pay something out of pocket. But I like, feel like God damn my finger, please. That's like, what I'm saying. Like that's so dumb. How you have to pay to get your finger retached. That's what I'm saying. Like, I need this. Or pray to give pray. Pay to give birth or something. Like that's like a that's, that's so up. stupid. That's why I think Can- Canadians be living a good life. I think they get free health insurance. Like everybody gets health insurance. That's, that's we're going tough. to Canada. I feel like I feel like the misinter mis- fuck. <laughs> misinterpretation of Canada is like they're just so nice and they have no worries of life. I don't be surprised. I'll go to Canada. I'll go to Canada for vacation. I think I've, I've been there like a couple of times. It was pretty nice. Is it pretty? Like, is it spacious or it's just... I went to... It's like... It's pretty spacious. Hmm. It's probably like... uh, There's a lot of... I forgot what part I went to. I went for a Filipino tournament. We went... The tournament was somewhere and it was like pretty spacious. It was, it was pretty like... And it was in the summertime, like toward the end. So it was like... It wasn't cold, but it was like a... Like a, a brisk... Like it was like sixty degrees, but it felt it felt it was like fresh air. Oh. Like it felt like I think it felt like we was in um like uh like uh Colorado. That's what it feels like. And then we went to Toronto. Toronto's like uh like New York or it's like New York City, but not New York City and like L.A. Oh. Now kind of it's mostly like L.A., not really New York City, because New York City got a bunch of people walking everywhere. It's not like that. It's just a lot of high buildings and shit. But but it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. But yeah, breaking off thirteen. I think I'm breaking, I think I'm breaking 10 fingers, all my fingers, so I'm going to have a hand cast. I look, you might break my hand. <laughs> if I break my fingers, I might as well just break my hand if they all going to be a cast. So I break both my, not both. <laughs> Damn, I want to play, I want to play 2K. You going to play 2K with one hand? I know, and I can't type. I can't edit. You could type with one hand. You think I can edit? One hand. It's going to be hard. All right, so I'll break, I'll break my left hand. I mean, it's, you're still going to have your fingers, though. You're probably just going to have a cast, so you're going to be like... Yeah, I get. Uh, I'm gonna break my neck too. <laughs> As Max, <laughs> imagine like the 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 more vital ones is like a hundred thousand. Still not doing it. Still not doing it. Like what? Like like you break your skull. That's a million dollars. Oh yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm cool. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do. I might do my whole left, my left hand, my fingers, my hand. So that's six. I'm gonna do. Most of my toes is like my big toe, so that's eight. So that's about twelve. So I probably like six hundred thousand dollars. Ain't that bad? I'm trying to think, what else can I break? Um, your nose. <gasps> but if you break free nose job. Oh God! Look at here you go. <laughs> but I think if you you know if you break your nose, I think it like like since it's the center of your face, like you get two black eyes automatically. Oh yeah. So like, I mean. I would say I, I, your teeth don't count, Hell no. even though they are bones technically. Yeah, I'll um, probably break my nose too. Fourteen. Wait, you gonna hit it? 
Oh, that ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's that felt that shit. All right. So, so would you rather be able to be invisible or be able to teleport? But whichever one you don't choose, everybody in the world will have that power. Uh, I want to say teleport, but then everybody in the world is going to be able to be invisible. Exactly. That's like easy licks. Everybody's just going to try to rob me, especially I, I can't go invisible. I feel like there'd be like hella robberies. Somebody's going to break in and either like murder me or just try but to rob then, me. If I'm invisible, I'm going to be jealous that everybody be teleporting and I can't. But like you could be invisible. Like you can. Oh my. I, if I'm invisible, I'm pranking my father. <laughs> I am pranking my dad. <laughs> Like I, I'm gonna, I'm have probably it. gonna teleport. Oh, you gonna, you still gonna take the teleport? I'm lazy. <sighs> I don't know. Teleport me into my bed. Like if I'm the only one that can't teleport, like if I'm the only one that could teleport, everybody's like, or if I'm the only one that can't be invisible, and people know about it, they're gonna rob me. That's true, but people are gonna be by you that are invisible too. Well, can the other invisible people see the other invisible people? Nah, like it's just invisible, so everybody's just getting hit and licks on everybody. Oh, damn. I mean, I guess. I don't care. They get a lick on me. So you're just going to teleport? I'm teleporting. That's smart. That's smart. Just teleport everywhere. Don't have to walk. <laughs> Do you have any would you rather questions you want to talk about? <laughs> Jay got a would you rather question, people. Okay, got She it. got some topics. Clap it up. I, I wish have I have one topic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? Wait, what was it? It was would you rather... Oh, okay. Would you rather fart and it be deadly but silent? Like, deadly. Like, everybody in the room is like, they know it's you. Uh-huh. And they're just, like, moving away from you. Like, it stink. It stink okay. bad. Like, they, they vomiting. Yeah. Or fart and it be really loud. But it like, don't stink. Like, really loud and it don't stink. <sighs> like, loud. Like, damn. <laughs> I was going to say. And farts have different beats all the time. Like, they'd they be like. You sound like gunshot. Low key. If all right, I'm going to pick the first option, like where it stinks really bad. But I'm going to have to get up and leave. Nah. What? I don't know. I think I'm farting really loud. Really? Nah. Because like, imagine you're in class. They're going to know it's you, though, if you fart. Silent and it's deadly, like that's worse. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna fart. I'm gonna leave the classroom and I'm gonna fart outside and just come back in. Oh, but it's gonna follow me. I don't know. I mean, farts do be trailing sometimes, uh, so you'll probably smell like it for a little bit. <laughs> but the really loud, they just go. Either way, I'm deed. Now nah, you know what? I'm gonna make it really loud. I'm yeah, it really, really loud. loud. It, like you really can make loud. a joke out of it. You be like, "Yeah, like, I just oh, farted." Oh shit, my fault. And then it still don't stink. <laughs> but, like, exactly. Like niggas vomiting. Yeah, yeah. If people like smelling it, they gonna be like, "Oh, you're dirty." Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I make it loud. I'm making it loud, and I'm making a joke out of it. I'm making it loud and proud. I'm be like, "Yo, I'm about to fart." I'm gonna announce it every time I have to fart <laughs> if it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, bro. Because if it's deadly, I can't even blame it on somebody because they can know where the smell is coming from. Mm. Have you ever had, like, an embarrassing fart? I don't think so. I'm good at holding my farts in. Nah, I think I am too. But I think I think there was a time where I farted, like, during, like... No, no, there was, I'd be farting in practice all the time. <laughs> like, like when we do drills and I'm running, like, I'd be like... Ew. Like, every step, like, it just, like, it, it squeezes out a little bit. Especially, like, if I didn't, like, if I, um... If we just like no warm up, just go into running, just hear like, <laughs> just hear that shit, and nobody see. Like sometimes I remember one time, like we have a thing, right? If niggas standing behind, like away from each other, like in a like a little like away from the pack, that we know he's farting, and we just be like, alright, chill, just go go over there. That's what we did for cheer. Like we used to be really nervous going onto the stage, so we just used to separate from each other and fart. So, yeah. I used to be like, I have to fart, and I used to go behind curtains and just fart. See, I was just nervous farters. Yeah. <laughs> Did, did I ever tell you the story of how I peed myself? Mm. <sighs> when I was in um fifth grade, right? So, so the so in um union, right? We have a fifth grade school, and it's like it's like a whole school separated. Then so it goes from elementary, so one K through K 
K through four, and then the fifth grade school, and then middle school, six through eight, and then high school, nine through 12. So the fifth grade school is all the way in Vox Hall. So that's like 10 minutes away. So I used to t- hop on the bus, and my parents used to be at work. So instead of the bus driving me here, my parents, my mom um, contacted the bus people, and it was like, oh, can you just drop me off at the Boys and Girls Club? Because it was right there. So I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club. So then I'm, I'm by myself, so I'm walking. I'm walking to the Boys and Girls Club, and I have to use the bathroom really badly. But, like, I'm hungry at the same time. <laughs> so I'm like, should I use the bathroom or should I go eat? So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go get some pizza. So I walked up, the, walked up the street. I got some pizza. I got my pizza. And my dumb ass, I don't even think I, I don't even think I freaking, um, I went back. I just sat there. I was holding my pee while I'm eating my pizza uncomfortably. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was no pee, uh, bathroom in the pizza. I think, I think the bathroom was messed up. Oh. So, so I'm going, I'm walking back down. So, and like when I, when I get to the, um, so when they drop me off, I'm there before all the, the kids come. Cause fifth grade, they used to, they let us out like 15 minutes earlier. Mm-hmm. So like the, like there used to be, um counselors that would go walk to the elementary school because it was like down the street and they would pick up the kids and they'll walk back so like it was before that so everybody was gone so i'm there by myself and all the doors is locked i'm like what the hell and i at this time like i didn't know where like the bathrooms were and like i'm like shit shit i don't know like all the doors is locked i can't get in and like i had no time so i just like stood there i was just like closed my eyes and i just peed my pants you literally could have just peed on the corner you decided to pee your pants (laughs) I was like, I was so embarrassed. If it was a girl, okay, because like you can't whip it out and just pee anywhere. I don't know what else to do. But you're literally. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. I was afraid somebody was gonna come upstairs and see me like peeing on the wall, and I thought that was so disrespectful. So I was just like, I'll take so one for the pee. team. I was so embarrassed. Like it was so bad. Like my, I still remember I had, I had black sweatpants on. So it was a good thing I had black sweatpants on, so you can't see the pee stains. But then like my legs started to burn from the pee oh. on my legs. So like I had to call my mom. I was like, Mom, I just peed myself. Can you give me some pants? What'd she say? She was just like, oh, she's like, oh, Darius. <laughs> and then she and she came and picked, she picked me up. What'd your dad say? I know he said I don't something. think my dad knows. Sorry, <laughs> Dad. Like, I, remember, I used to do hella weird shit in school. Like, freaking, in a, in a grammar school in Jersey City, I used to throw up, like, every day just to go home. Oh, like, in lunch. Max. I used to make myself puke in the garden. It worked. Until, like, they started, they used to look at me like, they'd be like, who throwed up? Is it Darius? Just time to go drink some milk. <laughs> and then, and then there was times where, there was, oh my God, there was a time in high school where I, like, I used to didn't like to take a, take a number two in the bathrooms <laughs> because, like, I used to be afraid, like, if somebody walk in and be like, damn, who just No, shit? for real. I'd be like, and then if they say, if I'd be like, it's Darius, I'm like, damn, D, that's you? <laughs> oh, I used to be so afraid. Now, I don't care, bro. Yeah, I do. I do that everywhere. You go everywhere, sitting on them nasty toilets, boy. Mm-hmm. If I gotta go, I gotta go mm-hmm. everywhere. But yeah, so like I would go to the nurse's bathroom, and the nurse be trying. Like it worked in middle school because the nurse used to let me go. I used to be like, "Oh, my stomach hurts." She's like, "Okay, just use the bathroom." I'm like, all right. Damn. The nurses in the high school they be like, "Oh, our bathrooms don't work." I see somebody walk out the bathroom. So I'm like, "All right, bet that's how you want to be." I keep coming back, keep coming back, and then one time they called my mom. They was like, "Yeah, dad's stomach hurts." And I went home just because I had to take a shit. Nah, you're. <laughs> I wasn't shitting in the bathrooms. I, I thought about it real hard. I was like, nah. If I have to go really bad, then I will. But. Because that's how it always be. These little kids, especially the little, the little, um, the freshmen, sophomores at the time, they'd be like, damn. And then they'd be like, they'd tell their friends, like, yo, somebody take a shit in here. It'd be so bad, bro. It'd be so, so bad. Oh, my God, bro. Mm-mm. But I haven't talked about conspiracies in a while. Let me hear it. I got a good one for you. So, have you ever watched Men in Black, the 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 movie? You know Men in Black, the movie yeah. with Will Smith and all mm-hmm. them things? What if I tell you, like, supposedly, not from me, people, don't don't shoot me. Because they be, they be, I'll be see, I'll be reading your comments, y'all hurtful comments. I know, I need to cough. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I'll be reading y'all hurtful comments, bruh. Like, they'd be like, oh, this is fake. They, y'all think I'm a devil worshiper, like, putting, like, the Bible. cross ver- symbols. Cross symbols, Bible verses under my thing. Sending, they'd be sending me hella, like, like, if you believe in God, retweet this or send this to a person that don't, don't believe in God. I'm like, and they send it to me. I'm like, are y'all good? <laughs> but, but supposedly, the men in, like, that's a real thing. The, the men, men in, in black. black? Yeah. I can see it. So, do you know what they do? No. So, the men in black, what they do is... In the movie, what they did was, if somebody seen a UFO sighting, something like that, they would come and be like, oh, what'd you see, UFO? Erase your mind. 
mm-hmm. to protect the people. So what the what these people do is same thing. They supposedly the men in black. Whenever somebody sees a UFO sighting, they will like not everybody, but like once in a while, men uh, they'll be tall. They describe them as tall men in black suits, and like their faces be like they look like um. They're wearing disguise. They have no hair, bald, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, really bright red lips, and they look like fake. But like, and they they talk in like monotone, like a like you know um, caller ID numbers, mm-hmm. like robot. They talk like that, like very like no no motions. And they come and they threaten people. They'd be like, um, they'd be like, oh, if you uh, like say somebody seen, say we seen a UFO, right? Me and you, and we about to go tell people. They'll come, pull up, or we'll get a somebody actually got a phone call. And was like, oh, I'm an investigator. This, that, and third, da, 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 da. He's like, all right, we're going to talk about this. Hung up the phone. The dude was right outside the crib. Ain't no way. Swear to God. Teleportation is real, too. I don't know. And, like, so people think, like, these people come and they, like, they either threaten people or they erase their minds to whatever they've seen. So, like, if they've seen UFOs, like, a lot of people, they got, like, scrap metal from a UFO. And they're about to bring it in for, like, testing. But, like, they'd be like, nah, give me that. (laughs) <laughs> they'd be like, why though like because they they don't want to they're like they're like the police of the galactic force supposedly so they just they don't want people to put that stuff out in the public to like cause chaos and like people to be scared and stuff but p- some people already believe in aliens yeah. some people still talk about like yeah aliens are real blah, blah blah yeah they they believe it's real but like nobody like as a whole as a group of us human beings haven't like physically seen or the government like physically tell us i mean the like government they don't have proof yeah there's no proof i mean the government did tell us like oh aliens are real now and shit like that they did i mean they 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 was like saying they brought out documents and things like that no. about like aliens and like there was a document called um project blue book in the 50s where there was um it was it was between 19 it was between march of 1952 and december of 1969 and it was like they like developed cases and studies of like different UFO sightings and shit like that. And like they came up with like 12,000 cases. And then there was one, there's like, there's like real documents in like the FBI case and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So like there was one case where they was talking about the men in black and it was like a, a, a general and he was like, he was like unidentified human beings, uh, impostering like Air Force patrolmen in black suits would come up to people who seen UFOs and threaten them to not say nothing about it. And like, they're like trying to look for these people because supposedly they don't work for us. So like they don't know who these people are. And there was a guy, his name was Dan Aykroyd. In 2002, he was coming out with a show called, um, it was called Out There. And it was like a show about aliens and things like that. And he already, they, he sold the show already. So they got episodes, like 26 episodes already. They're just, they need to air all the seasons out. But then one day he was in New York City and he was on the phone outside and then he turns and he sees like a, a black Ford, like like a little with them little cop cars, the old black Fords and a, a tall guy in a black suit come out. And the guy looked at him like a like a mean ass face. And then he was on the phone. He was like, oh, yeah, this is a normal guy. And he's talking. And then he looks again like a half a second later and the guy, the car is gone. Like he didn't he didn't hear it move. He didn't see nobody leave. He didn't like see the car leave. And then. A week later, the producers of the show was like, "Oh, we have to cancel, the, scrap this whole thing," because oh, because they had like a, a disagreement of the show because they wanted to be more of like a comedy, funny show rather than something so serious about UFOs. But like, they already recorded twenty six episodes. Like, how are you just gonna cancel? Like, that's a lot of work and money. It must have been something in there that was like actually true because there's a whole bunch of alien stuff documentaries. That's what I'm saying. That aren't taken now. That they, there was probably something in there that was like, nah, like, like this is too, too crazy too to be on the air. And the men in black probably went to them and was like, nah, bro, give me that. Give me, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> give me that shit. Because, like, imagine we, seen a, imagine we seen a UFO driving back to your house and the men in black came and we don't know about it, but they just erased our minds. We would not even know. We probably did. Shit. Like, that, like, I'm not gonna lie, that's like a crazy, like, you, do you think the government, like, has that power? I was talking about this before. To um, erase your mind? Yeah. I feel like they have a lot of things that we don't know about. Hell yeah. So who knows what I think they, they like, have. I think if if they have... I feel like they have that weapon on the low. Because that's so easy. Like, imagine the apocalypse happened. And, like, they just put something on TV and, like, erased our minds. And we don't even remember it. And somebody saved the world. 
I think they could put some like hypnotize. Mm-hmm. Like Spider Man. Like all that shit happened in Spider Man and everybody just forgot about it. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. I'll be pissed Except right for now. One person. Just remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad. Like that, like what if that's like all the conspiracies in the world? Like they all really happen, but put something on the TV, zap. Like, that's true. like those little um like those little uh shows. Like you ever seen like the little EMS things like late at night be like uh something training protocols like mm, mm-hmm, mm, mm, mm. that's like, so annoying. Like what if that like just erases our minds for the day? That that'd be crazy. That's crazy. Shit, bro. Please don't erase my mind, bro. I need that. <laughs> I need this, bro. I need my memory. I But it's like what do they think we're going to do if we we find out there's aliens are real? I just if, feel if like, they're not on planet like I just think it don't matter. I just think they're afraid of what how everybody's going to react. That's why that, that's why they're doing all these little like things like COVID. I'm I'm sorry, Spotify COVID's real. This the government <laughs> didn't do this. Sorry. But like like they do like little things to see how we react to it. Like they'll put out, "Oh, UFO. How are you going to react to it?" But if like it it becomes like a normal normal thing and we just be like, "Oh, UFO. Ah, it's okay." Mm-hmm. And then when we see the whole aliens come in down, it's like, "Oh, we knew you guys were here." Instead of like, ah, run, yeah. like run for your lives. Because people do like get out of hand with um, pandemics and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like that whole, remember when we were in Florida, we were coming back from Florida and that whole gas thing happened. They, oh, they were yeah. running out of gas. Everybody, you saw everybody with big tanks of gas just at the gas station yeah. filling it up. And nothing even happened. Exactly. They just, people just freak out for no reason i think i think it's just because people just we they know like we just overreact to shit Mm -hmm. (laughs) so it's just like let's just let's just stop that like let's not like let let have people have like heart attacks and shit just like like ease their way into knowing aliens because i feel like aliens been here for been here before us like before humans were made maybe they made us who knows maybe (laughs) maybe they made us and they're studying us and like trying to do shit show how a society grows and stuff maybe we're just a big ass science project for an alien imagine <laughs> i think this is all a game we're hey. in a simulation that's it you think so and people are playing with us what well, if we're in a simulation but it's like it's like a vi- like like you said it's like a video game mm-hmm. but like the people who like realize we're in a video game and locked it get to the go to the next level and like they get to go up higher in like the the rankings of like humans like not even like become aliens but like rich 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 yeah. rich rich mm-hmm like it's like a and like until like you're at the top top like what if elon musk like figured out we're in a simulation that's why he's trying to tell us that and he's like he made like i'm not gonna lie i didn't know who elon musk was until like people started saying he was an alien or until like tesla came out yeah because i didn't know who the hell he was Me what he did or like everybody know who made apple I forgot mm-hmm. what his name was what if he what if he what if there's a simulation and he figured it out and that's why he died we definitely in a video game they playing with us right now they hear us what the fuck you looking at Dumb, dumb. <laughs> don't look at <laughs> nigga. Don't play like that. I don't know what's up there. She. If we in a video game, I hope I become a superhero. I'm this, telling you. This guy. I'm telling y'all, bro. There's definitely a superhero. There's definitely a superhero in this world. Seven billion people. What that me, superhero been doing for us? Nothing. Who knows? Maybe he's been doing stuff, and the government been erasing our minds. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it like that? He raising our minds. <laughs> I sound like a little bad white kid. But hey, That's imagine. Funny. Seven billion people in this world. You tell me one person don't got powers? Tuh. Tuh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got powers in this world. I don't know who it is. It might be me. I hope I hope I evolve like a Pokemon. <laughs> but right, I got another question for you, right? So if you had the power to fly, so if you can fly, how would you like... All right, let me let me re say this question. So, if you can fly, in what way would you rather do it? Mm-hmm. With wings, like on your back, like you know, like angel wings. Do they close? Nah, like you're gonna be walking around like Lucifer, like. I don't know. Okay. So, like wings, uh, a broomstick, like a broom, like from Harry Potter, mm-hmm. a, a shapeshift into a bird or a jetpack. Jetpack, is tough. Well, can I tell you my answer first? Yeah, go. I'm t- I'm gonna take a broomstick. Do I was you, gonna say a broomstick because that would but... be lit, like uh, the Harry Potter broomsticks. Because I think that like in Harry Potter, like I remember I watch, my mom used to watch like watching it, but I didn't like watch that much. 
But I used to, I mean, I used to watch it with her, but like, I don't, I didn't watch it myself by myself. Like, you weren't into it. Yeah, I just watched it with my mom. Mm -hmm. So, like, I remember I watched the first one, and like, he had a broomstick, and I think the broomstick was like, like his like pet. Yeah. So, like, imagine I had a broomstick that would just fly around. Does it go fast? Yeah, them things go like mock speed. And like, you sit on it, but like, I feel like if I get nice with it, I could like surf it, like a surfboard. (laughs) Like, I'll be nice, like, going like this, like in the air. And then if I fall, like, he low, he got a mind of his own. He could catch me. Yeah. I'm taking a broomstick. I'll be lit. I, I wouldn't think, do a bird. That's ass. Like, they go slow. Like, like turn, like, like freaking Maui from Moana, like, turning into birds and animals. Maui. You remember, you you watch Moana, right? Yeah. Remember that big dude with the hook? He, used he to turn, turned into a bird? Yeah, he turned into every animal. Really? Yeah, that's, oh, a, that's yeah, how he yeah, flew. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the... With the- the, thingy, the little yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna th- I was gonna say jetpack, but like I don't wanna like jetpacks be big and bulky. Yeah, they just it sounds cool, like imagine you just fly with a jetpack, everybody walking. Yeah. But I feel like a broomstick would just be more convenient. That's lit. I'd be like like whistle. It's little, goes fast. Just pause like riding a stick, but <laughs> like <laughs> that's tough. I'll take a broomstick. Yeah, broomstick, I think. Mm. I was thinking jetpack just because it was cool, but I, I need to get to places fast. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, and like the jetpack, you like you don't have to, it refuels every time you land. So you don't have to go get gas. But jetpack is fast too though. Yeah. But it's just like heavy. Exactly. I just want that broomstick. Broom. Is just just like, ride it. Pause. That's crazy. Oh, that was so oh. nuts. That was so wild. I gotta, what's the next thing we're talking about? Hold on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. So for ten million dollars, would you rather be trapped in a room with ten thousand mosquitoes or a thousand snakes for an hour? Like this room right here. Ten thousand mosquitoes. Yeah, that's a lot. Snakes. The snakes, right? Mm-hmm. I'm doing the snakes all but, the way. Oh, wait, damn, that's a lot of snakes. I could die. You could die with the snakes too. Them but the mosquitoes. Like... Imagine you just like that's like a, a oh, bad yeah, death. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like you just imagine. You think somebody died like that? Like getting death. bit by a mosquito? Yeah. Like multiple mosquitoes. Multiple. I, if you're allergic. That's ass. That's an ass way to die. But but I, I answer the question. I think I'll do the snakes too because I feel like if I just stand in one spot for an hour, they won't mess with me. Yeah, like I'm just... Like they're, they're just going to be crawling around me if I don't like irritate them. But if they want to attack me off rip, I'm, I'm going to have to... I might Are they die. venomous? There might be a couple ones in there. A couple yeah, of no, I'm standing like... Wait, how long for an hour? Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking the snakes. Yeah. Hours low key, quick. Exactly, but like ten thousand mosquitoes, that's a lot. Like and, you probably can't see. And you just stand in there, and they still biting you. Like that shit's probably like a dust cloud of mosquitoes. Yeah. Oh, that shit just going in your hair and your in your mouth, paws, Mm-mm. in your nose. Like you just go walk out there just hurting. That's that's. I just, saw this thing on Instagram. They said they captured like a million mosquitoes. How the hell do you do that? I don't know. And why would you want to do that? I'm telling you the government. People, mosquitoes aren't real. There's no real purpose to mosquitoes. Chill. I'm kidding, Spotify. Don't cancel me. <laughs> like, I don't like... <laughs> but why... You seen on Instagram, like, they captured 10,000, a million mosquitoes? I don't know if it was... I don't know how much it is, but it was a lot. Like, it was, like, a whole pile of mosquitoes. I don't know if they killed them. Like, I don't know how they captured them. If anyway. they killed them, good. They need to no, die. For real. Like... It was just a group of piled up mosquitoes. <laughs> Ooh. Wait... I think what I want to do, hold on. I'm about to go on to day years old. I'm going to see what thing they have, and we're going to talk about it for the last thing. Courage. Unless you want to do one. There you go. All right. Oh, <laughs> I seen one. It said, what if we were, if we you, what if we were able to make wishes, like on shooting stars or in general, but somebody wished that we couldn't make wishes no more? Oh, damn. I would kill That's that messed person. up. That's so crazy. That should There should be rules to... Sh- like, wishes of shooting stars, if that was, like, a thing. Like, if we had, like, fairy godparents? Yeah. Like, nobody could wish that? Yeah, that's Max. Like, he's taking away everything from the whole world. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I feel like I feel like one of the, like, some of these things that people created, like, genies and things like that, I feel like, I feel like one of them was real. Because, like, like who? Like, um, like, maybe back in the days, because, like, they be telling stories about shit like that, and, like, they make cartoons out of it, but, like... How you just come up with that, like, creativity-wise? Like, oh, a man come out the bottle and it's like, oh, grant me three wishes. That's so random. That is. It's like, what if that really happened? But, I mean, a kid could have possibly did it. Kids have... Good imagination? Yeah. But, like, how'd that, like, blow up? Like, what? I'm just gonna... Like, that's so random. But if I had a genie, three wishes, I'm spamming. After At the third one, I'm doing what Mr. Crocker did. Oh, three more wishes, please. 
<sighs> Keep going. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. A limit. Hey. And like, what's that called? What? Oh, regulations? Yeah. Rules? Rules. Hey. Because then people could just keep doing that for their third wish. That's not fair. F it. Everybody's just going to be doing that, and then it's going to be unlimited wishes. I could wish for unlimited wishes. Hey, a lot of people don't think like that, though. Oh, okay. Unlimited wishes? That You know what? That's true. That's true. They probably will. Oh, I see one. All right. We're going to talk about this. I, I, can't, I can't read that fast. It says, on June 10th, 2018, NASA announced that it had lost contact with their rover, which has been there since 2004 what if they actually saw something and decided to tell their science team that it had lost connection to prevent their new discovery from getting leaked to the media or maybe something just took it yeah oh no 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 for real though like in space like so that shit's on mars right if it's like we have a rover on mars right supposedly i don't know i think we do i don't know nothing about how the hell we get all the way over there but anyway i think we do have a rover on mars but what if like like there's like people on mars that are just not telling us that but like that rover is just like their connection, like they're 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 friends with the rover, and they're just like communicating through communicating. us with the rover. Who knows, bro? We will never know the secrets of the world. I want to know. Give me at least. I want like I want to know like two. It'll eventually come out. I feel like somebody in this world is trying to get smart enough to go to the higher ups and leak all the information. I feel like somebody gets there, but they either kill them or just like that's true. Because like they like if somebody really did that. Maybe what if these all these conspiracy theories, all these crazy niggas that did just be speaking? What if they found out they're just trying to tell us, but we just don't believe them? No, for real. Hey, but I feel like if somebody really got out and like told like the real life secrets, they they're probably gonna kill him in a way like like he never existed. <laughs> like I they could do that. But how? He has family. Men in black. Z- a race. Zap. But, do you have anything you want to talk about? Any more stuff you want to talk about? Any discussions? No, I have my one topic. That's good. Next Jay- time is going to be two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jay moving up with the topics. I like to hear. But if you haven't already, subscribe down below to the channel. I'm telling y'all people, once we hit 1K on YouTube, 1K subscribers, and 100,000 on TikTok, we'll start doing merch. I, I already have the ideas out coming out. You just have to finish the Yeah, the just... New one. Shh. Bleep it out. <laughs> you about to leak it out. But yeah, merch coming once we do all that stuff. But the ideas are in the works, all the new stuff coming. But if you haven't already, follow us all of our socials down below in the description bar. Put them all down there. Follow Jay if you want to. Fellas, watch what you say. I'll kill follow you. Follow me, yeah. If you want to you yeah. you DM us, all that stuff, you can. Follow all the socials down in the description bar. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and all that good stuff. Post notification buttons. And please, all my audio listeners. I mean, I'm not begging y'all, but I'm just... Because <laughs> I said please. That sounded crazy. I'm just asking from the goodness of your heart. If you want to. You don't have to. It's you know free. what I'm saying? It's free. You know, you could just make a rating. You could put five stars. It takes nothing more than 30 seconds. No more. You could just say random things. Just write a like, little small review and things like that. It will help us immensely. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if you haven't already, just do that down in the description bar. Or to all your listeners, reviews, if you want to. If you don't, it's okay. We love y'all anyways, regardless. All that stuff in between. And you have anything you want to say before we dip out of here? No. You don't want to say nothing? No wise words from Jay? Not today, not today. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> but we different. They reckon no records, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah. I'm gonna really go get it. Yeah.